Let's see, this is water coming out the sink. If I do a reverse cam to show you the uh, developmentation for my physique, if I go like this, and if I'm like, um, um, so, um, if, uh, if, um, I continue working out and developing a uh, core. So if we take a quick look at my physique once again, as I angle it um, in the upward direction, um, if we see here, um, you know, um, we could see, um, you know, from from look from this angle, um, here I am again. Um, so if I flip it, if I, you can see um, some uh, developmentation, um, you know. So here I am again, if I flip my uh, camera. Water running. If I do one more flip. Um, I flip again and with the water running I'm gonna flip it if I uh, if I uh, um, tell you about um, Blue Jays and um, Beau Bichette um, having a good night in Montreal last night and uh, Vlad Guerrero not being there due to injury uh, if I went to my past and I was like you know look at my work man there's some cursing swearing there might be some rudeness uh, but at the end I you know uh, portrayed a pretty decent message and um, so if I was acting like vigilante and um, if I came off more Christian more so um, if I was like you know um, if I was like you know kind of like um, um, excuse me uh, for my uh, rudeness um, people will think it's very smart uh, if it came out the other way um, to Holy Ghost Christian then it wouldn't be an art or if I was, uh, if I was like, you know, kind of like, um, if I was like, um, you know, excuse me for my rudeness, uh, uh, people might, they might, if they may or if they not think it's smart, if it came the other way to Christian Holy Girls, there wouldn't be an art. Uh, yeah, well, if they need us to watch American Idol for them to make money, um, are they uh, sharing us a uh, uh, profit sharing? Uh, for the advertising, uh, profitizationing. Uh, you know, just to uh, try to do some apologize, uh, Asianing to uh, a lady with her two year old, uh, uh, you know, for saying a uh, fucking scunt bitch shit or something like this in front of a front of a kid. This is uh, might have been, um, you know, one of the earlier times in his life being exposed to uh, uh, profanity. You know, being only one and a half or two years old, you might not need to use all the uh, all those verbiage as uh, saying fucking scunt, um, um, uh, pussy scunt bitch or something like this. Maybe just um, all they need is, you know, being able to get away with booger. Maybe, you know, that's all they need at that age. They don't need to know about uh, fuck, saying fucking, fucking scunt. You know, if you start with booger, you know, work that into your vocabulary and then eventually, you know, you keep you know uh, keep your held uh, your head held high you say your prayers eat your vitamins eventually you could you know do expansioning of your vocabulary and add you know verbs like you know fucking scunt pussy uh, cunt bitch and stuff like this and um, because if you if you're two year old kids in uh, kindergarten or whatever and he t calls the t uh, his teacher a fucking scunt uh, uh, pussy scunt uh, uh, st st stank ass hoe bitch or something like this you know she might uh, uh, come uh, crack down on pa on the parenting and say, you know, who is this kid's parents, and then the parent has to listen to all this shit and stuff like that. And for Michigan, you know, if you could say it's a declaimer or not, but if kids want to use profanity, you know, in front of their school teacher, use that to, you know, consume at your own risk, so to say, uh, for lack of better terminology, but if your parents get a call home, if they're busy doing other things, if they don't want to have to put up with your teacher bullshit, so, you know, 
if your parents weren't in the school, they don't know what provoked um, uh, the profanity from the child mouth if they can't get to the bottom. Um, if they don't have the resources to hire a private detective to find out what indeed, in fact, uh, took place at the school to cause this, uh, um, this, this uh, insanity of profanity. See, if uh, the wheels on the bus do not go round and round, um, um, that motherfucker that's driving the, the Vaughan Transit or Viva Transit or not, he's not going to have money uh, to buy uh, the ice figure skates or hockey skates, to buy his Coke Zeros, um, to, to learn how to play tennis with his Milos Rannick that he got a Canadian tire, so... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Luminous C126 going for a bit of a skate right here. Yeah, if you, if you're using a kind of long, lengthy, a powerful striding on the ice. Uh, you're phenomenal enough or not. And you're fucking a. Uh, uh, right down on the fucking ice so uh you see here you're gonna try to uh, and then uh if you're uh, if you if you're phenomenal enough on the ice uh, that you become uh in a sense a, a, a dominal a dominal so i'm doing some acceleration now going to the corner so if you're going hard in the corners you really dig in you can still dig if this is your exit door right here, if you uh, fucking hop off the ice, if you exit, if your Coke Zero is waiting, uh, after you uh, leave the exit chute um, from all your uh, fucking skating, if there's a figure skating on the ice, whether or not she's dating, if she's waiting, are you waiting? If she's a filly, if, if she acting that here I am, uh, gonna try to get to the fucking gate. Uh, you can see the gate's fucking over there. So, uh, let's see if I can get there real quick, momentarily. Uh, hold on. If I go like this. And then, uh... I'm gonna, uh, kind of push into this corner here. And then if I... Uh, to make the fucking corner turn right here. Oh, I'm kind of slowing down a little bit. A little bit of traffic. Yeah, at the risk of uh, trying not to sound too graphic, if I flip the screen again, so if I fucking uh, turn, start to uh, push off a little bit going into this corner, if I uh, can do a pirouette of sorts right here, if I uh, switch the angle, give you the, the thumbs up uh, mic, if I uh, uh, turn around, sell so, one more time. If I go to the corner, uh, big traffic coming from the other direction. If I come into the angle eagle type landing, if I give you the thumbs up, if I flip the screen, if I do a exit K, if I if I'm coming in, coming in for an eagle's nest type landing. To show I'm not a dodo bed to be uh, put in a to put in a fucking uh, a bird cuckoo's nest or whatnot. If um if I if I hop off the fucking ice, if I flip and find a Coke Zero, um, I was going to uh, um, you know come around and um, if you see this here, so uh, if you uh, walk off with a cold, refreshing um, um, sip of cold, uh, refreshing Coca-Cola Coke Zero. After going for a figure skate ice uh, hockey skate at Al Paladini. So, so if you see a hockey player skating around the ice with a lot of padding and a lot of cushioning, um, if you, you know, we take into account, we remember um, all the black people from plantations that did all the picking of cotton um, to facilitate this level of cushioning, allowing us to move hockey pucks up the ice and uh, facilitating Stanley Cup. Although uh, Compadre just walked in a little, he was suggesting that um, also black people, they guilt um, and women into saying we picked all this cotton and um, you're not deserving of wearing all this clothing and um, uh, eventually, you know, uh, there are more um, uh, 
uh, predetermined or available to drop clothing for them and um Basically, these people keep calling me from India, from California, from all over the DC, uh, Seattle, whatever, man. Um, they seem to be uh, unbelievers that uh, I don't have available budgetation to facilitate um, their services. So, um, you know, I've made this abundantly clear several times, several hours at a time over the phone. So basically, if they could just tell me how to make money so I can make use of this service or keep, keep their business um, or give them business, but, uh, you know, he's not telling me how to make money. He's only telling me how to spend money to make money. But if I don't have some money to spend to make the money, how do I make the money so I can spend? I was saying if they could tell me how to make money so I could spend money to make more money. But um, if I don't have the money to spend money to make money, um, you know, if I have to take money, if I have to rake money, if money grows on trees, if I planted seeds, if other people... You know, if other people raking, if other people taking, if other people shaking uh, money off the trees that I planted or that I planted a seed for, if I need more, if I need tours, if I need scores, uh, elevationing um, for the playoffs in abundance. I know you can't see it on the board, but that says get, got game tournament edition, civic center, resource center, library, $10. Um, they're also talking about uh, traffic management uh, strategizing. Um, this sign says uh, helping hand. So traffic strategizing. Um, it's tonight at City Hall. I'm going to be attending. Yeah, you know, is Audi uh, um, you know, uh, picking up uh, some sort of remnants of a chopped up body uh, from the butcher shop? You know, I can't show you the video of it uh, for um, risk of being uh, imputed. Um, so I'm uh, going to uh, uh, fucking uh, go inside Catelli's now and uh, bring you some episodes of lifestyles of um, You can buy nine coffees to get your tenth free, but fucking nine coffees is a lot of coffees to drink all in one setting, so this is a phenomenal offer, you know, for, for fat motherfuckers that can drink that much coffee, but uh, there we go, damn, man. Last time I fucking uh, uh, did this to drink nine coffees to get the tenth free was uh, um, uh, the La Mosana. And uh, also, you're a little uh, uh, conscious of um, having uh, um, uh, nasal bugitations and uh, impeding them um, um, from, uh, um, from, not impediment, but um, from uh, ice skating. You know, uh, uh, you know, these are kind of. Uh, you know, I picked a little bottle of this the other day, this Brio Presto. Um, uh, you know, I, I poured a, uh, a, you know, let's say, a, you know, an, an abundant amount into the wash. Um, so I did. Uh, I did mix it with another detergent. Um, you know, just ex doing experimentationing. Uh, uh, bio uh, Presto, not Brio. There's, there's no R uh, to make it Brio. If uh, R after the B would make it Brio or not. Um, so uh, right now, um, uh, uh, the laundry uh, um, uh, detergentized um, uh, clothing is uh, is being dried in basements. Right Use the bio presto um, in combination with another detergent to to do laundrificationing of uh, non uh, doo doo stained uh, undergarments or 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 box of briefs of the hill figure dis persuasion. So um, these are non doo. -doo in fact, uh, 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 my under uh, you know the the under briefs under drawers. If they are non, uh, if they are of the non doo stained uh, persuasion, do I need a, a detergent as strong as the Bio Presto um, um, uh, to cleanse, to do cleansification? I'm not bragging, but I think I do such a phenomenal job of uh, wiping my ass back to front or front to back, whatever. If I do a combinationing, um, do I still require a detergent as strong as a, a Bio Presto? Um, that I could uh, uh, scoop up at Catelli's um, for $4.99 or whatnot. Um, uh, 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 pod, uh, pardon uh, my ass crack, um, it's Cataldi, uh, motherfuckers. Cataldi is here, back the fuck up, you better back the fuck up. So, um, it's uh, fucking Cataldi, uh, not Cataldo, or where's fucking Waldo, or whatever the fuck, man. It's Cataldi, fucker.